Hi guys, it's Brooklyn and welcome to my channel. So today's video is going to be a first impression review of the Primark PS My Perfect Color Illuminating Under Eye Concealer. If you recognise this packaging or looks familiar, it is a dupe of the Maybelline Anti Age Rewind Concealer. It looks very similar to it, so obviously it's a copy. <laughs> and yes, this retails for around three pound, I believe. So it's a very affordable concealer, which is amazing for anyone on a budget. And it does come in a good number of shades, I would say about eight shades. Not the best shade range, but it is Primark, but it's not the absolute worst. So this is actually like a medium coverage concealer. It's not going to be full coverage. I thought it might be similar level to the Maybelline one. It's not. It's like a leather version of that. So if you do find that like, you don't really like full coverage found not foundations full coverage concealers then you may prefer this one better like say for instance you found the Maybelline one a bit too like full coverage for you didn't really like that it wasn't natural looking enough you will prefer this one definitely and you can't get it you can't get it online I don't believe you might be able to but as far as I know maybe not me I keep on saying Maybelline guys I really do as far as I know, Primark don't sell their clothes or their makeup or anything online. You have to live near or go to a store that is Primark to get this concealer. So it is a bit of a pain in the bum if you don't live near Primark. Or say for instance, you, do, you don't live near Primark but you live like a couple of hours drive or you're travelling to a country that is stuck in Primark and then maybe pick it up then if you're interested in it but pre-work do their ps makeup range have a lot of really nice makeup like really good dupes as well and i have tried some of their mascaras too and i've been a fan for the years and also like their eyeshadow palette there's one i absolutely love it's like six pound and it's my favorite it's called their smolder palette it has lovely cool tones in it i should show you it now i think i might as well just to kind of show you it's this one if you've watched my videos, you'll see this in my like makeup tutorials, get ready with me, whatnot. This product I've had for like over a year, it's probably in my top five favorite eyeshadow palettes. Not even joking. Like I'll show you the colors because I think you're fed up of seeing the actual like box of it, not the box, but like the packaging. So here's the colors. You can tell I love them shimmery white shades, and then like the nice browns for every day, and then the like, the cool toned greys and blacks and the really charcoal shimmers i love this palette and premark do do some lovely like makeup their face base like the bobby brown drip of the face base is really really good too i just love that brand i really really do and it's really good because it's so affordable so a lot of people can get their hands on it if they live near premark but yes i did pick this up last week when i was in a premark and I was seeing it about, I think, a wee few times I went. Did see it about, but I didn't pick it up. But I was like, I am halfway through my favourite Maybelline neutraliser concealer. And I'm going to pick this up to see if it's similar. I got the shade Cashew. They did have one called Marshmallow, which was a really like bright pink colour. And it looked really, really similar to their Maybelline like brightening shade. Which I probably will try, like the Primark version. I'm not one for like a pink tone for brightening. I'm more yellow. Like I prefer like a yellow tone makeup. Like banana powder is my go-to. And yeah, I got this one. So I thought it would be yellow toned. It actually isn't that yellow. It actually is look. It looks more like neutral. It has slight yellow undertones, but it isn't like as yellow as what I want. Some lights it does look more pink, but. It's like a weird undertone it compared to the marshmallow shade this did look yellow and the packaging it does look yellow maybe it is more neutral but underneath the eyes it doesn't look that pink it actually looks more yellow maybe that is because i did use my banana powder but yeah i was expecting to be a bit more yellowy but it's not the end of the world i did have a even lighter shade than this if you can believe that i had like one called porcelain which was like white proper white which is good if you're super pale like myself without tan on but yes i would definitely recommend trying this out if you're interested in it i'm going to get into the demo now before rambling too much 
Okay, so I've got my base on. I did just use my e.l.f. Here, where is it? <laughs> it's my e.l.f. Um, Poreless Body Primer. Vitamin C. Excuse my nails, I need done. So instead of using a full coverage foundation, just did a light tinted moisturizer type of vibe day. And I used this e.l.f. Bronzing Drops in the shade Copper Gold. Not technically a tinted moisturizer, but it does work like that with my fake tan, which I have just applied earlier on today so that's why i look a bit crazy how dark it is it is the saint tropez violet ultra dark amazing tan but it's super dark so um i am going to be using the pre-mark my perfect color concealer i've got the shade um cashew i believe yeah cashew and it's basically the illuminate under eye concealer they have several different shades in this but it's meant to be the dupe of the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer, which is one of my favourite ones, if not my favourite. And it does have that similar type of sponge applicator. I think you just twist it the same way, I believe. If Yeah, it's just harder to twist than the Maybelline one, but I'm going to try to twist it a bit just to get the product out. I got cashews because I wanted more of a yellow tone because I like a yellow tone concealer from underneath the eyes. I love my Maybelline the neutralizer shade in it. Yeah, it actually doesn't. Well, it's kind of yellowy but not like strong. Is it really yellowy? Hmm. Doesn't look too yellowy. It looks like almost slightly pink, but it isn't. Like a neutral shade but it actually looks really pale compared to what i thought it was but i'm just going to apply some underneath the eyes to just see how it is and everything so literally just the same way i do with the maybelline one the sponge definitely feels like that point i prefer the round one like off the bat that maybelline have to be fair like the round one just glides better this one looks like it's kind of dragging a bit so i'm just gonna Apply it on the eyelid too. I'm gonna get some more. Yeah, it definitely looks like it's a brightening shade. Not so pink, but not really that yellow either. It's kind of like a weird undertone. I think it's like it could look pink at some angles, but it could look more neutral on the packaging. It looks like yellow. I'm gonna put it down. I know it looks crazy. <laughs> put it down the nose. The pupils bow a bit on here, a bit on here, and then we'll see how. What's that red? There it is. We'll see how it blends out. Just using my very loved um, Real Techniques Marco Complexion Sponge. Blends out quite nice, does. I would say it's medium coverage, it's not as full. As the Maybelline one, but we'll see the true test underneath the eyes. We'll just do that. So, I am in my pajamas by the way, because I'm putting my clothes on. I do wear my pajamas once I've applied my tan because it helps it soak in so it's not staying in my clothes. A good tip if you are a fake tanner like myself or you want to do fake tan. Okay, yeah, it is more medium, I would say. It isn't as full coverage as the Maybelline one. Normally the Maybelline one gets my circles covered like that, but this one I can still see a little bit. I'll just apply some more just to kind of help hide it a little bit. Or not like that bad, but I'd like to have more flaws look underneath the eyes, I like to look awake. So I'm just gonna apply more. Oh, I didn't poke myself in the eye of that, but hey ho. Yeah, I would definitely say it's more like medium, maybe even like the medium coverage concealer. It is nice, doesn't look like it's really settling in or anything to be fair. It just looks like a nice luminous finish, which is nice. It's more of a brightening one, so it does stay what it does. It does give you a bit of a glow with your concealer. I am going to just set my face. I'm going to put some my face concealer on. I grabbed the wrong one. I grabbed my, my elf corrector, which is not for my face. I'm using my... 
it's I was gonna say Maybelline. No, it's not. It's a collection, last and perfection stretch concealer in the shade I think that is in buttermilk. That one, which they don't do this anymore. I do like the consistency of this concealer, it's really, really nice, it's creamy. I stopped doing it. I was raging because I wanted to get like a lighter shade for underneath the eyes. This one um not sure on the undertone the undertone's quite like ashy I'd say. But I suppose it's okay. I'm gonna add some around the forehead, I would say, just a little dab. And just use my sponge to blend that out too. I'm obsessed with black glow with the e.l.f. Um, bronze and drops. That glow is absolutely amazing. Just love it. But yeah, I'm gonna just I did apply my concealer like the other one on camera. But hey ho, I am just gonna set a makeup garnish. Should I do it on camera? I think I'll do it on camera. I am just using my favorite W Seven Banana Dreams loose setting powder. I love a good banana powder for setting my whole face with. And don't judge me, my brushes need clean badly but i'm lazy and i haven't got around to doing it don't shoot me literally i'm using my i think it's a blank canvas one it's like an under eye setting i've had it for like five years it's old but it still does a job still works really well but it's perfect for like underneath the eyes it really really is and flame eyelids Just do a bit around the upper lip type of area. I'm just going to use this. This brush is actually broke off the handle, but I don't mind using it like this. It's like a kabuki brush now. It's an Ellison's um, powder brush, but the glue must have got loosened because it is old. I just use the same brushes over and over again. I do have lots of different brushes in my collection, but I use the same ones over and over again. And it broke off into a kabuki brush, but I don't mind. It actually is a bit easier to apply. It's more fun. Just taking the same powder and setting. I'll grab a little more just for the rest of my face. I know some people don't really like powder. They prefer to kind of have their face like without powder just like a more dairy glow but i have to have powder i prefer to have powder it just kind of helps my makeup last and sit in place all day and i hate that tacky feel of the makeup on my face so i like to kind of mattify that down i know people are saying well, if you're over 30 or you're over a certain age don't use that much powder i really don't care each their own but yeah i'm just kind of buffing it round. I do like to tap it in and then once it's tapped in I buff it round and take away any excess powder and do kind of just like make my skin look nice and airbrushed. So yes that's what it looks like and I love the fact that banana powder doesn't take away the glow that much where it's like mattifying or translucent powders just takes away the glow loads and I hate that. Whereas the banana powder just kind of makes it look more airbrushed and still gives it a little bit of the glow. Takes away a bit of it to a certain extent, but not like the full way. Um, so yeah, now two layers of that concealer underneath my eyes have has covered my circles a good bit. I can still see them poking through, so I don't think it's full coverage to be fair. It kind of reminds me of like a hybrid of the Maybelline Instant Age Rind and the YSL Tissue Claw or one of them concealers that are like that. Like very, very light coverage but it's more brightening, like illuminating. So off the bat, what I would say, it does seem like a good concealer if you don't really have much to cover and you just want more of a brightened effect. Like say for instance, you're really young and you're going to school and you just want to kind of take the edge off or you're going to work. And you don't really like want to have a full face on that kind of vibe it wouldn't be like a full glam concealer i would say no definitely more like a natural type of look i do like like a like like a <laughs> i do like it but i prefer the maybelline one off the bat but this was around 
I think it was like two fifty or something or three pounds. So it is really cheap, like affordable concealer. So it's good for that price, but I prefer the Maybelline one off the bat. I am gonna go off camera, do my rest of my makeup and then come back and tell you my full like opinions, my final thoughts on this concealer. Okay, so I'm back. Makeup and everything is all done. I'm going to just take a look at my mirror and tell you my final thoughts. Now, obviously, it's first impression, so I've never used this product before. So I don't know how it's going to wear and everything. I might, if I remember, do a wee check-in a few hours later or whatnot. But I'll just see how it looks like with the makeup on. It does look like it's nice and bright and really like illuminating. Like it just looks nice and bright. I feel like that does have decently good coverage. Not, not as much as what I would love. Like I love a full coverage for underneath the eyes. I just do. But it does work decently well. And I think if I had a full coverage foundation on, I would prefer it better than over top of like a tinted moisturizer type of thing. But it does look nice. On the eyes it does give good coverage because I did put a bit of highlighter on my eyelids and brow bone and inner corners and it has made it pop a good bit as well and yeah I am decently pleased with it but it's not my favourite so I'm going to just get into my final thoughts now so what I say is concealers for you I would say if you're looking for a really cheap concealer that does covered to a certain extent like a medium coverage and you're not too fussy of um it covering up everything you don't really have much to cover up then or you don't really have much to cover up then it's for you it's gonna be for you if you're looking for a nice brightening concealer i would say this one is brightening and it's gonna be for you if you're on a really tight budget and you're looking for a concealer just to wear every single day for like natural looks Definitely this is a concealer for you because this is a natural looking concealer and it works really well with natural looks and also for like full glam too but I would say it's more of a natural like you're not going to get full coverage out of it but yeah and it's going to be for you if you live near Primark definitely or Pennies that's what it's called in Ireland the south of Ireland and Northern Ireland but yeah we'll just call it Primark but if you live near any of them stores, I know America, some places in America have pre-marks there. It's all over the UK too. I'm not sure where else like has pre-mark. But if you can get it in your country, definitely. And it's not going to be for you if you're looking for a complete dupe of the Maybelline Age Rewind. It's not completely like it. It's similar to it, but it isn't going to be like as good of a coverage as that one. I I believe the Maybelline one is a full coverage. This one is more of a medium for its non-light coverage. So you probably will be disappointed if you're picking this up thinking it's going to be like an exact replica. But at half the price, no. It's not going to be for you if you're looking for full, full coverage. Go for the Maybelline one or anything that's even full of coverage. And it's not going to be for you if you can't get your shade. I'm not sure like how dark the shades go some of them are pretty dark but i'm not sure like if every skin tone's covered but if you can't get your shades it's not gonna be for you i would definitely say maybelline it sounds like i'm bashing this concealer but i'm not really just i prefer the maybelline but this one is decent for what it is but yeah um it's not gonna be for you if you prefer that round sponge tip this one's a point i really i prefer the round one I, I find that glided on underneath my eyes better than this one. This one kind of dries, like I said before. So, yeah, I would say if you prefer like the spongy, the like, ground one, definitely the Maybelline one. And it's not going to be for you if you don't like illuminating concealers. Try something that's more mattified, like the collection Last and Perfection or the Elf Camel, the original one, are quite mattified. But they'll be better for you, better options too. And yes, that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you again for the next one. Stay gorgeous. God bless. Bye.